Common law marriage is an informal form of marriage that doesn't require a ceremony or compliance with formal statutory requirements, such as a marriage license and an authorized officiant. But it can be just as binding as a statutory marriage as an accidentally bigamous husband learned in Crossan versus Crossan. Barbara and Bruce Crossan married in a formal ceremony in 1982. They were divorced in June of 1993. After the divorce, Bruce asked Barbara to move back in with him and be his wife again. Barbara agreed. They began living together again in August of 1993. Bruce and Barbara filed their 1993 federal tax return jointly as a married couple. On social occasions, Barbara introduced Bruce to others as her husband without his objection. In March of 1994, Barbara moved to Mississippi for work. Bruce helped her move, and they visited each other on weekends. In October of 1994, without Barbara's knowledge, Bruce married Cheryl Rawlings. When Barbara found out, she sued Bruce for divorce, alleging that she was his common-law wife. Bruce denied that he and Barbara were married. At a hearing, Bruce testified that he began dating Rawlings a year after Barbara had moved back in. He admitted that he hadn't told Barbara he was dating anyone. He said he hadn't intended to enter an agreement with Barbara to be married and that he and Barbara had discussed having another ceremony which hadn't happened. The trial court held that Barbara had failed to prove the existence of a common-law marriage and dismissed her complaint for divorce, relying on the principle expressed in Alabama cases that the presumption of a common-law marriage is rebutted by a subsequent permanent separation and one party's actual marriage to another soon after. Barbara appealed to the Alabama Court of Civil Appeals. 